Hey guys, this is my unboxing of the 1100 scale egg. I think it's egg guy. Egg guy. It's like the egg guy, but it's a uh, space type. So you might not recognize this. You'll only really recognize it if you've watched Mobile Suit Gundam, the original Mobile Suit Gundam. So um, this was a. Uh, prototype suit made by Xeon that was a space version of the Ag guy it's basically or Ag guy it's basically got gigantic whip tentacle hands it's kind of crazy but uh I thought it was pretty neat you know it's one of a kind Bandai doesn't make any other kits like it so uh retails for 800 yen and there's not much English on this. I think it was released in 1984. If I could be wrong. Here's them advertising some of the other kits. That one I'd want to get. I forget what that's called. But man, Xeon had some crazy suits. So, like most of the original Gundam kits, this is going to have very limited articulation and very limited uh, part separation. So here we've got some uh, I mean it looks like the color separation is pretty good. Some arm parts, some leg feet, feet parts and then we only get three runners with this. So there's those. Here's all the individual uh, whip parts for the hands. Then we get our legs and arms, the bottoms of our feet. Then here we get a runner not even in the bag. And I'm sure you can tell what these are. <laughs> we get our chest. And then our massive head. This thing is huge. But honestly, um, I'd love doing a little diorama with this in the RX-78 too. It's a... Uh, Pretty neat though. The only way I found out about the date was, ah, uh, there we go, 1982. It's inscribed back there. It's crazy how old this kit is. So, as with old kits, you get the parts painted on the runners, which always makes me question things because why would they put these parts on the gray runner if they have to be this color and if it didn't matter what color these are why didn't they just stick those on the gray runner there and there's just a lot of decisions that they made where I don't understand so it's what I find interesting is it says 1995 I wonder if they revised the instructions in 1995 or something or maybe it just has nothing to do with them but very simple instructions but the parts are very simple too as you can see you're basically just gluing together halves until you get something together there's no no real pegs no real uh, poly caps or anything so with these old kits you know it just kinda all sandwiches together and they stood as more of like uh, models than they are what they are now because now they're more of like uh, figures collectible figures almost I would say um, but they used to just be model kits so if you want a model kit of that you can get a model kit but um, you know it's one of those love it hate it kind of designs I think even the people that like the design hate it it's more of just a um, interesting design that you don't see too much in most of the modern uh, modern Gundam series because they're going for more of a more realistic take with most of the new mobile suits coming out but I understand and I don't have an issue with it it's just always nice to have a, a little flash from the past you know well thank you for watching um, I'm going to build this someday, but it's going to be a huge project, but uh, I hope you keep an eye out. And if you're interested in me building this, please leave a message and I might 
raise it to the top of my backlog just for you and work on it. Uh, but thanks for watching.